Here are some junior favourites. Um, Croc type shoes from um, F and F Tesco's clothing. I um, I had some proper Crocs or Crocs that are Crocs as opposed to shoes that look like Crocs. Um, unfortunately, my foot, left foot kept expanding, and so the size tens I bought were um, were um, I couldn't get them on basically, so I decided to buy some size elevens from F and F. I forget how much they cost them, but they're, they're cheaper than buying another pair of um, Crocs size 11 for my left foot. Which brings me on to these baseball type shoes. And I've got them because they were only £12 for the pair. And um, for the very first time in my life, aged 49, I was thinking of just wearing, um, wearing odd Crocs. For my right for my right foot but it sort of fits even though it's size 11. Yeah the very first time in my life aged 49 I have bought two pairs of shoes different sizes for my different size feet. I never bought them before I was um, I've always just got, got along so I've got that's it yeah size 11 left foot I had to go with size 11 again, as I said, because my left foot keeps expanding and getting fat. So, um, so I went for size, normally I'm size 10, but I went for size 11 for that very reason. And so is, so is my right foot, so I went for size 10 um, right foot and um, tossed the 11 size right and 10 size left. So there was those are those are some um, those are some June favourites. I've got loads of other ones, um, including a skull foot um, scraper file, which works really well. I, and one of the reasons I always thought I've got built up more of my right foot of um, dead skin is because of having different size shoes. So that might help with that as well. So there you are, there's some, there's some early June favourites and this may be the only June favourites I can bother to do because I spent most of my um, June set on the sofa again. So there you go. June favourites. Yeah, I've got around to doing it. It's the 10th of July, so about the same as last month, isn't it? Um, after the, the footwear video, I decided to be bothered. Right then, June favours. I'll try and keep it brief. H hummus, humus, humus, whichever it is. I do love chickpeas um, as humus. Though um, I did try the reduced fat in the same month. I had two lots of humus. And I tried some reduced fat, and you can taste the difference. So. God, so I wanted to use that. So I tried to reduce fat, but it's not worth it. It's, I'd rather be fat, to be honest. Um, some salsa, guacamole, and um, some cheese and chive dip. And I had that with some cool tortillas. And before I forget, some Phileas Fogg taco rolls, sour cream and onion. Shame it's Phileas Fogg, but they were, they were nice. And they solved the problem. They solved the problem with tortillas. Why can't they, well they have in a way, so I'll probably answer my own question. You know you dip a tortilla into a, into a dip, it always breaks off today. It's so annoying, so annoying. So, um, they should just make them without corners, if you ask me. Don't ask me how they do that, but they should. And but they the taco rolls. Now, I had it with um, hummus and salsa. The taco rolls. They're um, they're like uh, cigarette shaped, but slightly. I haven't got them because I've eaten them, of course. They're slightly um, a wider in diameter than a, than a. Um, cigarette about twice I suppose 
are much better, much nicer, especially if you eat them. Um, I have smoked once and I thought it was horrible. And in fact, I smoked twice. I tried a cigar as well, and that's even worse. I like cigars because they've got a nicer aroma to them. When we actually smoke them, it's just it's just like smoking ash. I breathe in ash, sorry. It's absolutely disgusting. However, a uh, Phileas Fogg, I haven't tried to eat either a cigarette or a cigar, the way I haven't had it. Um, but a Phileas Fogg tacker oil is very nice. And I had it with um, hummus and salsa. And I was a bit concerned that I wouldn't be able to eat the salsa. Because obviously, um, the tumour is okay because it clings to the... Um, it clings to the to the taco roll, but obviously the salsa or the tomato will fall off. But however, I did have quite a lot of success with the, the salsa staying on the taco roll, and I managed to eat I managed to eat the t salsa dip using the taco rolls and got through the whole tub. Some of them were broken as well, and so you'd have a, like a spoon on the end of the of the of the roll, so that helped with the salsa as well. So that, that, those are two successes. Um, Buffalo burgers, I gave those a go, and they were very surprising. Because when I have um, beef burgers, there's always lots of fats generated, whereas the buffalo burgers, there was nothing, hardly anything at all. It was amazing, and they tasted lovely as well. Um, black pudding, I had uh, Simon Howie's black pudding, and I always thought black pudding was pork. And I was saying to myself, why don't they do, why don't they do um, beef black pudding? It's the blood from an animal, isn't it? Uh, to make it the colour it is. The other stuff as well. And um, well, I thought, well, no beef. It's about time someone did some beef. And so I looked at the ingredients, and lo and behold, it's beef. <laughs> so someone has. Um, Fox's Classic Biscuits. Those, they are, they are lovely. I bought them at the start of the month, and you may ask if I like them so much, why have I still got one? The answer is because I also liked um, Thornton's Continental Chocolates, and I also liked, I noticed in my local Tesco there's a Polish, I also I thought I'd try some Polish food, and I haven't written down the Polish names for the chocolates, however, they had two bags of hazelnut, like a, almost like a praline chocolate. Oh, I say it's hazelnut. It was, I, when I were eating them, I was, convinced, I was convinced someone was eating hazelnut, but it was actually peanut. I hate peanut chocolate, about um, that size. About that size. They were very nice. I put a bag of those, and a bag of, um, I thought I'd give them a go, fruit chocolate. So it's like um, a jelly, a jelly, fruit flavoured jelly with, with um, a chocolate covering, and they were bite size as well. And also I had a Princessa coconut wafer. So that's why I haven't eaten all of the Fox's classics. Um, when I was younger and I wasn't so rotund, that's the other reason. I, I, f I found, them, um, found them very difficult to resist and I'd, I'd have one and have to have another one immediately afterwards. So that's those. Um, so that's that. Phyllis Fox. Well, I enjoyed Prosecco, I enjoyed some Carver, I've, whenever I have red wine, don't ask me why, I have one nice mouthful of the red wine, and then for some reason the rest of the bottle tastes horrible. So I didn't enjoy any red wine in, in June, I enjoyed that one bottle from Amazon in May, the Barbara something or other wine. Of course I love strawberries. Um, although it's good and bad in a way because I would, I'd had two punnets and um, they were supposed to only last two days and I had enough realistically for about four so I thought oh no but the sort of thing was they weren't actually that ripe so I had some day one I tried to pick out the most ripe, the most ripened uh, strawberries for the first day and um, had those, and then um, the same thing on day two, and then I had a final portion on day three. I wasn't quite sure how much my sh the cream was I'd ordered, I ordered loads. So I ended up using, um, I had 
double cream. I ended up using it in coffee and stuff like that as well. Just read really just coffee, yeah. Um, so that was strawberries. So although, so the only way it was, it was, it wasn't good. They weren't ripe the first day. It was good that, though because I could make them last longer over, make them last three days rather than the two days they were supposed to last. Um, roasted and salted nut assortment. Now the strange thing is, they had um, in the bag. They had cashews, um, hazelnuts, I've got to probably get this wrong now, I'm trying to remember, and um, almonds. And normally, almonds, I thought to myself, I don't really like almonds, but I, I'll give it a go. When, because when I have almonds on things like bakewell tarts, or when it's uh, mushed into a paste, or a Di Sarono liqueur. It's particularly that last one, it's, it tastes horrible. But when they're actually on their own, whole, I quite enjoyed them, surprisingly. So I have to um, have that as a favourite. Although I've, um, I've not ordered them this month because, again, I'm trying to not eat so much. Um, rib eye steak. Got a love rib eye steak. And uh, I just did some of that on Snapchat. Uh, I put some Mexican cheese on, which I think ordered in July. Um, I just managed to eat the ribeye steak at the very end of June. And it did work quite well, actually, the, the very spicy Mexican cheese, cheddar cheese. Um, salmon and a dami bean sushi salad with rice, that's very nice. Feta stuffed peppers. Well, I was a bit confused this time because when I had them last time, previously, they didn't have an oil in the packet. But this one had. There was oil in the. I, pres I presumed to preserve preserve. I'm quite sure. So I preserved it. With, I preferred it without the oil. But it's some um, little peppers, about um, that sort of size with um, feta cheese stuffed in, in the middle and it's quite, they've got a bit of a chilli kick but not much um, and they're very nice, very sweet uh, and that, oh yeah, and that is it from the point of view of things I've eaten I've had some spirits through, had some spirits through June to be honest with you I don't really like spirits, they're just a means just a quick way of getting drunk. I prefer beer, cider, um, a glass of red wine if I can, if I can get, get a decent one, and um, the the sparkling sparkling wine is always nice as well. I prefer prefer those. Spirits just a like I say, just a faster way to get drunk, and I um, I always laugh. When you read the tasting notes on the bottle of spirits, it says it's such and such with a such and such palette on your palette, and such and such and such. And you always drink it, you go, no, no, no. Yeah, it's not why they bother. Still, that's that spirits. So I had, I did have um, Frago, Frago La, I think it was called. It was a strawberry based liqueur. And if you had, just had the liqueur on its own. It was, it was, it was nice, but it had these tiny, teeny, tiny. Not even the size of my small of my little fingers nail. Uh, strawberries in, and they were so bitter. It was, it was horrible. This, this bitter taste because it's a strawberry, so I think it's going to be, it's going to be, um, it's going to be a nice taste. But it was such a bitter taste, like the strawberry. It really ruined the um, taste of the drink. It did work though in the carver. That then made the drink work. But on its own, I wouldn't have it again though. But it did work. It did work as a mixer in a um, in a glass of carver or prosecco, whichever I had with it. With it. So that's the, that's the nearest I got to liking uh, a spirit. But it's more of a liqueur than the spirit, to be honest. Um, over. Uh, June. Best thing to do with them really is just dilute them until you can't taste them, in my opinion. 
so last couple of things. I um I've got terrible. I've mentioned. Did I mention I? No, I didn't. Terrible problem, particularly my right foot, with um, build up of hard, dry skin, and um, so for a while I was I was using I was using this, and I rubbed so um, vigorously that the handle broke. Although I might mean to use it for something else, I'm not sure now. And that's the um, that's the smooth side. That's the rough side. So I was looking in the Tesco's online store, and they had um, this a skull. What's it called? Smooth Peddy Hard Skin Remover Velvet. And I thought, I thought, I thought I'd give it a go. I think it was £30. And um, I thought I'd give it a go. And it works really well. I'm probably going to pick lots of dust now. And I found... It's dust ready. Two things I, I noticed. One, I didn't think I needed to read the instructions. Because it's quite obvious. There's a just a zero and a, zero and a one. Turn it on. And it came with batteries. It's just as well because there's um, there's four of them. The double A size. Can't put it together again, can I? Glad I did that. So I, did, I thought, didn't think you need to read instruction. I mean, just put on your foot and rub and rub it up your down your foot and um, put some bit of pressure on and it gets rid of all your dead skin. Don't press too hard of course because you don't want to actually rub live skin away. Um, but I thought okay I will read the instructions just in case I miss something. And what I did miss was that it came with came with a cover. <laughs> and then the second time I used it I noticed that it worked better with the cover removed. There it is in close up. And my feet never looked, they're still bad, because I've got a club foot obviously, from as you've seen in previous videos, but the dead skin has been removed quite successfully. The other, the other technique I used before that was to have a bath, I've soak my feet in, um, in uh, hot water, in a bucket, um, and then scrape my feet, my fingernails afterwards, and that was much more successful than spending hours trying to use that. But this definitely works. So there you are, that's, that's my penultimate um, tune favourite. The final thing is a pair of trailers, so I'm actually going to get up. Do -do -do. Say though is if you've got big hands and you put something in this pocket, it's damn difficult to get out. There's another one pockets, another one over the zip, which I haven't used, and um, I'll do a twirl. The only thing I was concerned about was whether the um, whether they were quite long enough, but I think they are. They are on my right leg because I've got different length legs. But I wasn't quite sure about my right leg, sorry about that on my sock. I was it's, uh, it's uh, just what happens with my toes. Um, so that's that. Also, if you want to, you can unzip there and it becomes shorts. So far, I haven't bothered because my legs aren't good enough. Just find zipping them. So there you go. Forget how much they were, but they weren't very much. So that's my. Um June favourites. That's the kitchen. I'll say goodbye, goodbye.